Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. We are here on Leapfrog day 5 and look at this. We have Isabel. She is here. Resident Services is upgraded. She got to video chat with her family. Oh Isabel, I'm so happy for you sweetie. And look at that. It is no longer winter. Goodbye snow. Goodbye. So yeah, a lot of stuff is different today. Uh, we have our resident services. Let's go take a look. Oh, look at this. Our island is coming together. It really is. And I'm so excited that we have some green grass. It's a little dull, but it's still green. And we have some gifts. We got our Gulliver item and we have something from Nintendo for downloading the update. We got a sombrero from Gulliver. Cute. And we have the mushroom mural from Nintendo. Cool. So I am wearing a new outfit. Uh, I got this on our last stream. I just did some like daily chores on stream and it was super fun. So if you want to go watch that replay, you should because it was a grand old time. But yeah, we have resident services. So I think that means we can finally, finally start trying to get KK and unlock terraforming so I can, you know, do more stuff. This is all I can do without terraforming. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go talk to Tom. Hey, Tom Nakalo. Welcome to the new improved resident services tent. Did I say tent? Of course I meant building. Yeah, those are the exact same things. We needed a new support staff, so Isabel is here. Okay, cool. Mr. Nook has told me about you. She calls him Mr. Nook. That's so cute. Okay, Tom Nook is gonna take care of the homes. And Isabel is gonna carry this whole island on her back. Got it. Okay, what do you want my help with? We need more visitors. Okay, that's step one. Step two is to get them to come. And then step three is to get three stars. All right, we're getting the campsite. Could you get out your phone, Raven? He just sent me like a cash app request <laughs> for like $50. Okay, we got the recipe for the construction of the campsite. Wood, softwood, hardwood, and oh my goodness, this is a lot. Let me see how much wood I have already. Maybe I have enough. Oh, I think I do. <gasps> yes, it's going to use up most of it, but we have enough already. I for sure want to put my campsite like back in the swampy part of the island that I'm gonna have. So I'm just gonna stick it back here for now. Picked a spot for the campsite. Nice. I'm very intrigued as to who our first campsite villager is gonna be. If you don't know the story, my very first campsite villager on my old island was Chops and I really did not want him to move onto my island. I am not a fan of him and I was so devastated when I learned that you had to invite them. So that is why I don't like Chops. That is why he is my most disliked villager. He raided my island without permission. Like I, I did not give him the right away to come here. Yet he came anyways. Who does that? Tom, I put down the campsite. Tomorrow we'll have a campsite. Yay. Can I do some other stuff? I want to do more things. Okay, he doesn't have anything for me to do until the campsite's done. Dang it. What about Isabel, huh? You got something for me? Ooh, I want to find a good island tune. Okay, I maybe found one that I want to use. Okay, this is from this game called Had in Time. It's the, uh... Mafia Town theme and I really really like that game so yeah and I think this sounds really cute so that's what we're gonna go with. Okay while I'm in here I'm gonna go ahead and check the Nook shopping. I think we do have new items from the new update and I'm really hoping for some freaking glasses. Ah uh, yes actually I'll buy this. The bandage is always so cute. We got this cute little like the doll stand. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I don't want to butcher it but I am gonna order it because I think it's really cool. Now I kind of just don't know what to do. Once again, I have no goal for today. I guess it's uh to the dailies. You know what I should start doing? That would be so helpful for future me, but I probably won't end up doing it because I just love to make myself struggle. Planting a whole bunch of stuff, like planting a ton of trees or at least moving them all, planting a ton of flowers, planting a ton of bushes. That way I have like materials ready to go. I'm just so happy that the snow is gone. I saw a lot of people with the same sentiment as me, but I mean, the snow was cool. No pun intended. The snow was nice for a while, but geez, it just got so tiring and like stale. And like when it's so white, it just hurts. Like I want some color. 
I want some beautiful green. So I'm very excited for the green grass. But yeah, I'm not sure what season I want to save this island in either. Like right now I haven't been time traveling. I've just been playing you know, with whatever time it is, whatever season it is in the Northern Hemisphere Islands. I was in the snow for a bit and now we're in like, I think this is spring, right? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. No! <laughs> if I would have waited a split second. Ugh. It's not a leapfrog episode without me getting stung. Anyways, I was saying, I haven't been time traveling, which was my goal. I don't really want to time travel too much until... Well, I don't want to time travel at all until we get terraforming and then I'll do that, you know, just for the sake of my sanity. But yeah, I'm not sure what season would be the most fitting for my island. I don't know if I want to do like summer maybe. That's when everything's like really bright green. I feel like that would probably look the best. Bright colors are pretty, pretty standard for kid core. So I think that would be the best solution, you know. But let me know what you guys think. What season do you think would be good? Because cherry blossom season could also work, even though I already did that with my old island. But the pink trees, like, they could be a real cute addition, you know? We have not checked out the shop, so let's go take a look at what they're selling today. Should I buy this? How much is this? This could work. Only 2,700. I will purchase it. I'm gonna check my turnip prices, even though I know they won't be good. Yep, 51. Ooh, the hot item is a clothesline, which I have sitting outside, and... It's a uh, little like Nook Mouse Plus task, so I'm gonna go sell that bad boy in a sec. Ooh, I'm gonna buy one of these bubble blowers. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I bought a bunch of flowers and like tree saplings, so I'm gonna go and plant them and actually do my plan that I was talking about, having like a hoard of just like nature stuff. Cause I know a lot of people do that when they're starting an island and I think it's really smart. Okay, what I'm actually gonna do is just move some of these trees that are already here after I go make a shovel. Yep, I don't have a shovel. Okay, I'm just moving the trees up a little bit so we have some clear empty space. Okay, gonna plant all of these red hyacinths. I really like that red hyacinths like little bulbs. I think they're cute. I don't know if that's weird. Like I love how they look on the beach. They're just so adorable. And then hopefully planting the red ones and the white ones together we can maybe accidentally breed some pink ones. That would be nice. I'm gonna plant some cedar saplings. I could just go grab the ones that are up on my cliffs, but I'm not ready to face the cliffs yet. I'm just not ready. And you know what? This is so... like, what is this? Can we talk about the medicine? Like, what is it? It's just in a bag? What's inside the bag? Is the medicine the bag? Is this like an edible bag that you eat? And the medicine is like infused into the paper? Or are there like pills inside of it? What, what do you even use for like a bee sting? What kind of medicine? Is it like a little bottle with like a little like liquid stuff that you just like tap onto your eye? Like what is this? It's just a bag and we just take it? I mean it works instantly so it must be some good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm sorry Gulliver. I know you sent me this beautiful sombrero but I'm gonna sell it because I will most likely never wear it. I'm so sorry. Once I get my beret, it's beret time. Oh look, these two are talking. Hello? Okay, Rod wants to give Coco some pointers for working out. What? But working out is so much fun! I bet you just haven't found the right workout yet. I don't know, Rod. I've never been the athlete type. I'm not really sure where to start. I think you should start with the fundamentals and work out your core. Abs? So like, sit-ups? Just lay down and lift my torso a bunch and I'll have a strong core and abs? If only it was that easy, honestly. You can even just flex your stomach and get great results. Oh really? That's easy. I can even do that in the plaza while I'm reading. <laughs> Careful doing that. Sometimes you can flex a little too hard and fire off a little glue to stop. Animal Crossing did not program that line. Better out than in? Stop! What is this? Shrek? No, I didn't like that. I It was wholesome, but now I don't like it anymore. Is Rod walking all the way over here to work out? Yes, he is. Ah, oh, that's kind of nice though. A little workout on the beach? You go, Rod. If only I had the emotes to do it with you, I would. But sorry, I don't have the emotes. Ah, oh, I can't work out today. First sea bass of the day? Yep. Uh -huh. Just why do the fish look so realistic? That's always my question. Meanwhile, everything is so cartoony in this game, except for like the bugs. That always freaks me out. Why are they so realistic? Like, Nintendo, you, you didn't have to do that, sweetie. I'm gonna catch these weird little roaches, because it's, uh, 
Nook Mouse Plus task. Whenever I see the word wharf, I don't know about you guys, I always think of Bob's Burgers and I think of Wonder Wharf. I'm running out of space. Timmy and Tommy, just reach into my bag, reach into my pockets real quick, and please take all of this stuff out. Like, I'm counting on you guys. It's getting so heavy. I'm carrying 24. Sorry, 28. <laughs> I can't read. I'm okay, carrying 28 iron nuggets. Can you imagine how heavy that is in my pockets? Timmy, Tommy, come here. No, come here, please. No. You did not witness that. You didn't see that. Oh, come on, come on. What? Excuse me? Oh my god. Please. Nothing to see here. I am amazing at catching bugs. What are you talking about? Oh, here's my last fossil. It was up here. Okay, now we have all the fossils. We gotta go to Blathers, who's probably just passed out. It's always so awkward. Because, like, you know how whenever like you have to, like, wake someone up, it's always kind of just, like, awkward. Like, especially if you don't know them that well. You have to be like, hey, hey, wake up. I always felt so bad, like, waking up my mom. I don't know if you guys feel like that. Mom, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry for all the times that I woke you up as a child. <laughs> There would be so many times when I would wake up earlier than my parents. I would wake up like earlier than everyone and I would go wake my mom up just to ask her, can I watch Dora the Explorer? And then she would just be like, yes. <laughs> and then I would just go sit in front of the TV and watch Dora until everyone woke up. I'm going to try to not let my storage get super cluttered. So I'm going to go sell all of this stuff that I know that I don't need. Like all these shells and stuff. Just keep my materials that I know will be useful, keep my items, and that's it. Timmy and Tommy, hello once again. Don't mind me coming to your shop like a gazillion times a day. I just have a lot on my plate right now. Nice, 13,000 for all these like shells and bugs and stuff. Cool. Oh, oh, I got so scared. Okay, you know when you feel something like on your skin and it kind of feels like a bug and like you like jolt because you freak out because you think it's a bug? Oh, I that just happened to me and my heart stopped for a second because like... I'm like all like locked in like I I'm sitting on my chair with my chair straight up and I'm I'm kind of like under my desk and like I have my headset on and it's like wired so I can't just like get up and like throw my body anywhere you know and like go crazy because I'm gonna like I don't know I'm like stuck here oh but it was just the string of my pajama pants <laughs> rubbing on my arm <laughs> Oh, we're good. I was literally about to scream. I hate spiders so much and that's always like my instant thought like no, this is a spider. But uh, okay. It's just the string. It's just the string. Okay, now what I'm gonna be doing is just making like a whole bunch of items. One of you guys left me this comment that you can just make a bunch of hay beds with the weeds and put them all over your island to try to get up your island rating, which I thought was so smart because the weeds are just everywhere. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a bunch of those and go grab like all the items in my storage and start putting them around so we can hopefully get to three stars super soon. I'm gonna start putting down some hay beds. Just putting it in front of these rocks so I can help my future self out. Just gonna put a bunch of them randomly. Doesn't even matter. I might as well pick up all these weeds while we're at it. You know what's so funny? I don't even know how I just started thinking of this. I was thinking of like weeds and then I was thinking of like, oh, pulling weeds in a garden. And then I was thinking of like, oh, chores. Oh, doing chores outside. And then that reminded me of like being a kid and like you know when you're a kid i don't know if every kid is like this or if it was just me being a goody two shoes but i secretly loved like doing chores and like helping my parents with things like i would like dream of my dad being like oh hey come and help me do this and like hand me like a tool or something like i don't know if that was just me and i just think it's so funny like why is it as kids we really want to do that. I guess we're just like modeling our parents' behavior and we want to be just like them. And we see them doing the chores and we were like, oh, I want to do that. But then we grow up and we realize, oh, this isn't that much fun. And then we start um, not wanting to. It's so funny. Life is so crazy. Growing up is so interesting. But yeah, those are my random thoughts. That's how my mind like jumps from one topic to another and thinks of something totally unrelated and random. I also saw this post, or maybe it was a tweet or something the other day, that like made me so upset but in a good way. It was like, 
it was like a person saying how fed up they were with like the pandemic and stuff and they were like you know what i just want to be like in a water park in a lazy river um like getting sunburnt and like sunblock getting slathered on my face and then i like run around barefoot with sand in between my toes back to my little area i can't remember i think i'm ad-libbing a lot of this but like basically wishing to be in a water park like running around with a bunch of other kids and i was like oh, that sounds so nice especially because it's starting to get hot here it's starting to be like 80 degrees fahrenheit every day and i'm like ah oh, the pool water parks i used to go so much as a kid i used to have birthdays there and everything and you would have like cake and you would be like all drenched your water sopping wet in like your one piece bathing suit and you eat like a piece of cake like that sugary grocery store cake with a, with a plastic spoon or fork and then you drink like a grape Fanta because for some reason your mom decided to buy the variety pack even though you only like one type of soda but you drink the grape Fanta anyway. <laughs> and then you have- you eat like chips with your wet soggy hands and like you get the salt all over your chip- all over your fingers and then you like lick the salt off your fingers and you taste the chlorine and, and the chip salt. If only that were me right now. If only that were me. But yeah, I always loved having birthday parties at water parks. What was like- I want to know, what was like your favorite birthday party as a kid? I want to know like, you know, you had the, the themed birthday party plates from like Party City or Walmart or whatever. Like, what was it? What did you have? My One of my water park birthdays was Ladybug themed. We had ladybug plates and I had ladybug cupcakes. Um, it was incredible, I'll have you know. My mom was a really big fan of doing like themed birthday parties for us. So we would always have some sort of theme and have like all the matching plates and, and cups and like decorations and stuff. So yeah, let me know. Like what was your favorite themed birthday party or like birthday party as a kid? Did you go to the pool? Did you go to a water park? Did you go to a theme park? I hear a balloon. Please have something good. No. <laughs> ah. Ew! No! Just kidding, sorry. That was really dramatic. I apologize. It wasn't that bad. I'm just upset because I wanted an item. So I took it out on the shirt and you know what? The shirt doesn't deserve that. It didn't do anything. I should be grateful that the shirt decided to exist and that it was created and that I was given it for free. So I am not going to be upset with the shirt. I, I will not. I apologize, shirt. I am going to sell you in just a minute here, but just know that I am not upset with you. It's not you. It's me. I just, I'm not going to make it work between us. My, my needs are different and you can't meet those needs. I'm really sorry. It's just, it's not going to work. But yeah, I'm just really hoping for items in balloons because, I mean, obviously we have to get some items going on our island to get to three stars look at that have, okay is it just me i have never noticed those little islands in the back like what i guess those are supposed to be like the mystery islands or something i've never noticed them that prominent is it just me what see this is what i'm saying like there's other islands out in the distance we could have like the minigame islands from New Leaf or something else. Other islands to go to. Another balloon. Come on, I have good I have a good feeling about this one. <laughs> no, no more clothes. I know I said last episode I wanted clothes, but I take it back. I take it back. I mean that, that's not bad. I got this pink jumpsuit, that's what I'm sticking with until I unlock custom clothes. Let's just make a ton of leaf umbrellas. We have 300 weeds to work with. Is that another balloon? Oh, yes. <gasps> quick, quick. Before it falls in the water. Come on. Oh, <gasps> that was so close. I thought it was going to fall, honestly. Pan flute. I'll take a DIY. I'll take it. After clothes twice in a row, I am happy with a DIY. Okay, back to making leaf umbrellas. I'm just going to do these, mostly. They do take five less weeds instead of hay beds. And I think they're cute. And I will definitely use these later. Um, for like the froggy areas, of course. I think this is an adorable umbrella and it honestly works for all aesthetics. Works for cottage core because it's just a leaf. It can go in the forest or whatever. Works for kid core because it's kind of bright. Works for fairy core because it's just kind of like natural and nature-y. 
could go next to some little mushrooms and looks super cute. It just works. It works for tropical islands because it's a leaf. <laughs> okay, my pockets are now full of leaf umbrellas. <laughs> We're just gonna go dump them everywhere. It's leaf time. I wish I could give my villagers gifts already because I would give them all leaf umbrellas. I'm gonna put one on the beach. So why not? Let's put actually let's put two on the beach. Let's go. Let's go a little ambitious today. Two leaf umbrellas on one beach. Whoa. Another balloon. I see it. I see it over there. Man, I'm catching more balloons now than I was when I tried to do balloon hunting on stream. I literally was not getting like any. No, don't go up there. Don't go up there. Don't make me pull out my ladder. Yes. Five clay. Wonderful. We got a lot of stuff done. I'm very excited. We're gonna have our campsite next episode and then we can hopefully start getting some more villagers after that and terraforming is in sight. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today as always. I hope you guys have been enjoying the let's play kind of daily kind of series where I just do whatever on Leaf Frog in these beginning stages. It's a lot of fun. Don't forget to give this video a like if you haven't already. I really, really appreciate it when you guys do that. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm not biased or anything, but I think it's the best decision you could ever make in your life. Thank you guys once again so, so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in the next one.